everyone, it's Pam from Glam Junk Journals, and today I'd like to share with you my latest journal I just completed yesterday. I am calling this my Gothic Glam Junk Journal, and she measures six by nine and has a two and a half inch spine. There are three signatures in this journal and a total of 140 pages. And so how I started was I got a black hardback book and I deconstructed it. I took out the spine and made my own. I knew I wanted a black book to be the basis of my journal and I wanted the black to show through. So I started with that and then I started layering and this gold right here is some fabric that I got at Joann's and it is sheer so I cut out some of the flowers and I glued that to the book and to be honest with you the whole inspiration for this journal was the uh, pattern this black tulle pattern that came from a ball gown that I got at a thrift store and I've got to show it to you so let me grab it and when I went to the thrift store, I didn't know I was going to buy this ball gown, but it just is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Look at the intricacy of the rhinestone and the beading and the tulle. And this is red satin underneath. And this is a full length ball gown, you guys. And I mean, I can't even fit the whole thing in frame. And it has red and black tulle and satin on the bottom. I just can't imagine all of the work that went into creating this gorgeous ball gown. So when I saw it, I said, I have to have that. And the kicker, you guys, it was $1. And I'm not kidding, $1. And I gotta say up front, I have more fabric than I will ever use in my life. So please message me if you'd like some of the fabric from this ball gown. I'd be happy to send it to you. Uh, the camera doesn't even do it justice. It's just divine. Anyways, I knew I wanted to use that. Sorry, got a little distracted there by the beauty of the gown. So that's what this is right here is the black tool section of the ball gown. And I totally wrapped it around the cover and on the side here the spine is made out of a another piece of fabric and let me grab that this was also from Joann's it's not necessarily a goth pattern but I knew I wanted the reds the blacks and the golds so um, that's why I picked that and how I created the cover Besides layering all that on, is I did make one of my little flowers from my stash. You know how I like to pluck off the petals and the leaves and make my own flowers. So this flower was from my stash and I added some red glitter glue. And this is a vintage earring that I took the back off of. And on the side here, this is one of my dangles that I made. And I did a tutorial on that and using paint chips. So this is made out of a paint chip and it's secured up at the top with a vintage pin that to me looks goth. So I just added that on there. And this is a tie closure made out of a men's tie. This red is a men's tie. And I used that throughout the journal. And the black Right here is a lace that was cut off of a skirt. And this, I'm gonna date myself on this, but do you guys remember shoe clips? This is a shoe clip. And they had two little clips on the back and you could add it onto your pumps and just make a fancy pair of shoes. So that cracks me up. And I do remember wearing those. So that's what this is. And I did position it so that when you close it, it's right where it needs to be and I'll show you what I mean this is a tie closure here that is removable and what I did is I sewed it to the back of 
the uh, men's tie and lace closure. And what I did is I just sewed the two together like that. And I positioned that so when you fold it over and put the clip right here, both of the ends of the ribbon are even so you can make another bow. And it's right in the right spot. So I'll move that out of the way. And let's go inside and check this baby out. Ah, oh, so pretty. Okay, love this. All right, so here's the first page. This is the back of the book uh, cover here. And along the front and the bottom, this is what I made in my latest tutorial, the uh, borders and corners out of paint chips. And I also added some flowers and some scrapbook paper. And there's that men's tie again. Here's a little tag I made. And then on this side, the Harlequin print. Love that. Just think it goes so well with the journal. And then on the back side here, since the back of the scrapbook piece of paper was stark white, what I did was I ran it through my uh, printer and I printed a chandelier and I added some stamping of some roses. And then if you can see up close, it is splattered with, let me show you, the Distress Oxide Spray, and that's Vintage Photo, and the Distressed Mica Spray, which is in Brushed Pewter. So that kind of took down the stark whiteness of the page, which I think goes really well. So we've got some rose vellum paper and a vintage book page that has a castle. And there is a lot of writing space in this journal. And how I did the pages here is I dip them in watercolor. I just put a big bowl of watercolor out and this is black watercolor. And so those are watercolor dipped. And most of the pages are watercolor dipped. There may be a couple tea stained pages in here also. And on this side, there's watercolor dip. I used the red this time. I've got some stamping on there. And here's another page that I added a tag. And these graphics are from a digital kit that I did get on Etsy. And the name of the store is Journal Centric. And I'll put a link at the bottom for that. They have some really pretty graphics in there. And so I use those throughout. Oh, and let me mention on this tag, this is from the kit. I added some liquid pearls and I added my own little butterfly bat piece of paper because I think this had like a, a brain on it or something. And all the brain, although the brain is kind of goth, it just didn't go with my journal. I wanted to make it a little prettier. So that's why I did that. And here's a fussy cut rose with some collaging and some liquid pearls. And a fold up pocket that has some more of that gold fabric from the cover. And one of my little flowers that is also from a uh, Halloween costume. So definitely check those out. Check out Halloween costumes. And a little rose card that I made. Put some glitter on there. Got some vintage music. More writing space. And here is a, what is this, a paper bag that is vintage. And I don't even know where I got this, but I just loved it because it looks vintage. And so it folds out. And on the side here, I made a little booklet out of a raven and there's some more of that harlequin print and some red trim there and this is some uh, pieces of scrapbook paper and paper from my stash so i made that little booklet and then on the inside here is another tag from the kit that i sewed onto a bigger piece of cardstock and added some lace and on this side, this is a piece of cardstock, and I found this at a thrift store. It is a masquerade mask, and it's made out of black lace, so I just thought that looked fabulous. So what I did is I tied that onto the page. It is removable. It's under this belly band with, with a raven. And here's another journaling card. 
Let me get this out here. And this is from Tim Holtz. It is a die cut. They have some Halloween die cuts that are out now. And they just looked perfect with my journal. So here's some more writing space. And here's the center of the first signature. I created two vertical belly bands with some trim from Hobby Lobby. Love that. And two big journaling cards. One is blank for writing and one has some random stamping on it. More pages for writing. There's another belly band with another tag. One there. And this is a cluster that I made with some of my tool and another one of my flowers from my stash and also the men's tie and some black and silver eyelash trim. There's another page with a pocket that I made. There's some more of that gold uh, fabric and another one of my dangles right here. Yay! And another card for journaling and there's some more of that uh, scrap from the men's tie. I gotta tell you, I got a lot of fabric out of that men's tie. Here's the other side of that paper bag. And another big journaling card here. Go sticks inside there. More pages for writing. Just a little embellishment on that page. Stamping. Journaling space. There's the other side of that uh, vintage book page. Some vellum and the other side of that chandelier. Chandelier is really pretty. And this, what I did is I took a vintage placemat and I sewed around the edge and added the black lace to the top. And on the bottom down here is a little earring. Let me lift it up. You guys can see it. Just a broken earring that's in my stash. I thought that looked cute on there. And then the same thing on the back of this piece of scrapbook paper, I added a... Uh, what is this? A fence. It's a gothic fence and I love the wrought iron so I just ran that through my printer. More writing space. Vellum. And this is a watercolor splatter done in red. And here is a three-tiered pocket. And this is some of the uh, trim from the ball gown that I glued on there. Tim Holtz ephemera. Another tag, and this is a vintage postcard. It looks like an arch or a gateway, and I thought that looked goth, so I think that goes really well in there. And on this side, I just glued on some lace, and this rhinestone trim cracks me up. Let me show you where that came from. So, I was at a thrift store. Imagine that, right? And I was at the checkout counter. And this little guy was hanging at the checkout counter. Isn't he cute? And he had all these little fabric trims and dangles and ribbons hanging off of him. And he just spoke to me. He said, buy me, buy me. And so I said, yes, I will. And see, there's another one of the uh, rhinestone ribbons. And I haven't used that yet. But I got to tell you, I've cut about half of him up or off, I shouldn't say, I didn't cut him up, cut these off, and um, I'm still using him. So you got to look at Halloween decorations too. You never know what you're going to find. Here's a little fold out with a journaling tag, some more images there, and a little cluster at the bottom, some more pages for journaling, lots of them in here. There's the other side of that gothic fence. And the other side of that placemat, here's one of my little dangles that I made. And then this says the Goth Arcade. That's another uh, piece of paper that I ran through my printer and I printed that on the back. I like the way it just breaks up the whiteness. And this side, there's the gown. Yay! And what I did is I attached it to a piece of paper 
and I sewed a blanket stitch all the way around the outside with some embroidery trim, or I should say embroidery fabric. What am I trying to say? Embroidery thread. Hello, Pam. Can't talk today. Okay, vertical belly band. And on top of the belly band, I did add one of my scrap paper snippets and I used all the same scrapbook paper that was throughout the journal. So you can see my little bats and butterflies and my Harlequin print there. And on top of that, I created a flower using some of my leaves from my stash and some tool. And this is a rose ribbon, some trim that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I just grunged it up with some archival ink to make it look not quite as new. And a couple tags on the inside there. And another postcard. And journaling space. Don't you love how that I love how that one turned out. Cool. More vellum. And here's another center. And on this, this bottom here is from the ball gown. I just cut off some trim some satin and sewed it along the bottom. And I, this is two tiered pockets here. Got a tag, actually this is a little booklet. Look at this cute little guy. It's an owl that has some writing space on the inside. And right here is a little cutout from a paint chip. And on this side and the other side, this is from the Sears Roebuck catalog. Now these ladies aren't necessarily goth, but they kind of go with the the era, so I thought they went well. And another tag made out of a large paint chip. And then on this side, there's some more lovely ladies. Let me get them out of there. Can you imagine wearing this stuff? I don't know. And then another card. And here is some more Tim Holtz ephemera. One, another one of those die cuts that says witch hazel on it. So I thought that went really well. And that's on that side. More pages for writing. And this is some gold tool that I layered with my black and silver eyelash trim and sewed it along the side. More vellum and writing space. And here's another booklet I created. And this is a, another raven. And I added some red sequin to bling him up. And then another one of my grunged up roses. And some stamping there. So there's some more writing space. Another castle. And this page here is the other side of the ball gown. So it has the blanket stitch all the way around the side, Harlequin print, one of my scrap paper snippets, and this is some stenciling and some stamping. And there is one of those rose appliques from that trim, and I glued that on the back. And here is the other side of the Gothic Arcade. And I created some ephemera here with this clipped on with that gold sparkly clothes pin. And this is a doily that I dipped again in the wall wallpaper. What am I saying? Watercolor. And I made a little tag there. So that goes on there and put a stamp on the back. And here is the bag. This goes right in there. Another print from the digital kit on the back there. And then this is the same as on the front. This is the uh, border, borders and corners that I added some flowers and uh, glued that on, made the paint out of the paint chip. And there is the men's tie. And here is the back. So there she is. And she is absolutely one of my favorites. I just love it. And I got to tell you, the gown just made the whole journal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and that you're having a wonderful day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.